Okay, uh, good morning everyone. In this video um, we are going to go through a very basic concept, but as this is ICT basics I want to make sure that I'm covering uh, everything. So in this video guys we're going to go over equal and relative equal lows, which is a liquidity signature. So guys, um, they are equal and relatively equal lows are exactly what they sound like. They are a cluster of lows on any time frame that are equal on, at an equal price or at a very similar price. So for example, you can see in the highlighted uh, pink box, we have relative equal lows, relative equal lows, and we even have relative equal lows here. So why is this important? Well, below every cluster of equal and relative equal lows are sell stops. Why? Because everyone who went long betting that the market would go higher puts their stops in and around this area. So anywhere anywhere in this area. Okay, usually one tick below the low, but you'll have a whole cluster of stops like all the way up to 10 points below the low uh, and even beyond that. Um, that is what we refer to as sell side liquidity. So sell side liquidity can be on a single low like you have mine, I have mine drawn out, or it can be on equal or relative equal lows. And eventually guys, the theory and, and what ends up playing out most of the time is that the market is going to be attracted to these liquidity signatures. So in the same way that the market is attracted to inefficiencies, the market is attracted to liquidity. What is liquidity? It's stop orders, guys. It's areas of interest in the market, but specifically it's stop orders. So these are where sell stops reside. They reside below equal and relative equal lows, and uh, they are important areas on the chart for you to be aware of because as you can see, the market will attack stops. It attacks liquidity. It attacks stops. So it is important that you are aware of where there are equal and relative equal lows, guys. Um, Let's see if I can find a couple more examples. Two relative equal lows there, a little bit far apart. Relative equal lows there. So you can see, for example, we had relatively equal lows here. The market came and ran it. Okay, That's just what the market does, guys. It attacks stops. It attacks liquidity. We had equal lows here. What did the market do? It came back, ran it. Okay, So the market runs on itself. It generates liquidity, and then it runs against that liquidity. It generates liquidity, and then it runs against it. So when you have equal lows and relative equal lows, you do expect as a day trader that the market will eventually come back and run those. And that's why you'll have, uh, you'll see on my drawings, sell side liquidity and buy side liquidity. So guys, in this version of ICT basics, I went over equal and relative equal lows under which stop, reside, uh, stop orders reside, specifically sell stops, uh, otherwise known as sell side liquidity. Uh, with the theory that the market will attack these equal and relative equal lows given enough time. All right, guys, in this uh, ICT basics, we went over equal and relative equal lows. Sell side liquidity. Bye bye.